Hey everyone, we're going to be going over some issues that clients are currently having with their tracking, what ways we can fix that, and really just going over situations that you know really allow us to understand what ways we can improve the overall tracking between Shopify and Facebook. So let's go ahead and watch some of these clips. The thing is, once you get access to Shopify, you might realize you're actually getting more purchases because in the luxury space, especially with like handbags and high-end items, like you know, a lot of times people will go to the site and then they'll purchase it a few days later, and then that doesn't always get attributed to the ads manager. Yeah, I have to check that um, because actually that's a good point for another client. They also use Shopify. Um, I I have one sale uh, in the ads manager, and then they wrote me on WhatsApp uh, all what's going on because they receive so many purchases uh, in the back end, and they can see it from the UTM parameter that it's all coming from Facebook ads, right? And I was like, I mean, you honestly, uh, I don't see any purchase at all, right? Uh, and I mean, it's crazy because yeah, it is crazy. Even, even, even with a Facebook conversion API, uh, it was let's say at least 90, 95% accurate. But now I think since like one or two months, it's completely crap, right? You cannot trust the data in here. That's what I'm saying. And so essentially what's going on now after iOS 14, I'm sure a lot of you are experiencing it. Facebook isn't necessarily attributing all the results to your campaigns anymore. And if they are, they're using statistical modeling and trying to figure out where it came from, but you don't have the full picture. It might not have the full conversion value, or you might be managing Facebook ads for a client and you know they have a, you know, a more full picture than even you in, as a media buyer and managing Facebook ads, it's important that you understand all of the pieces and what's going on and where sales are truly coming from. So that way you can truly optimize and understand how to actually scale the account. So let's go ahead and look at you know, some of the ways we can solve these things. Look at this. this. This is why we're not, you know, we're not even looking at our ads manager data anymore. We're just going through this dashboard because you mm -hmm. see like, here's the Facebook reported. Here's this interest campaign we're running for high-end luxury yeah. items. One purchase, Facebook says, we don't even know who that person is, but we're seeing, you know, more purchases um, than just that and what's coming to Facebook. And these, so Surge picked up three, Facebook only picked up mm -hmm. one. If we click on this, we actually know who these three people are. We can actually see and see this is around the same price as those you know, uh, handbags that you're talking about. And like we can click on this person. This is nice. And yeah. look at this. It tells us where they're located, how many page views they visited, how many pages they visited before they purchased, how much they spent, and then the entire customer journey. And then it shows us what UTMs were appended to it that you know track back to Facebook. Facebook didn't even pick up the fact that even with UTMs, it still didn't attribute to the ads manager, but because we have the search tracking script integrated. It picks that up. And Shopify misses this stuff too, because if you visit a homepage with the UTM, Shopify mm -hmm. is going to miss it because you have to have it at least a few steps or a step prior to exactly. check out. So it gets exactly. pulled out. Whereas with, you know, this tracking, you actually have all of that data, you know, mm -hmm. um, always because it's fully tracked. It doesn't matter where they go or how long it takes them. And so therefore you're able to okay. actually know exactly where people came from. And then you could drill down yeah. to the ad set level and see, you know, okay, uh, style, and then you can go to the ad level and come to find out. And yeah. does it pull the information automatically whenever I create a new ad set or whatever it will appear here? If you want to track it with Surge, you have to have the tracking script on the site and then you have to implement the Surge UTM. So like, let's say that this is um, the website. You have to have mm -hmm. these, this string appended to every single active ad you're running and every new ad mm -hmm. you post, all the ads have to have them. So we're using Surge to essentially improve the tracking. You, you know, integrate the tracking on your Shopify site, place it on the purchase page, and then you just start using these UTMs in all of your actual ads. And then the data starts coming in and you're able to, you know, correctly attribute where sales originally came from, giving you more insights. That way you know what the true, you know, profits are, what the actual cost per purchase is. You have more data to work with. So that way you can actually optimize and scale more efficiently. And this allows you to get much better returns because if you're able to truly know where things are coming from, you can make much better decisions about your data, which is super important. And so now this is going to be a full walkthrough of like how to set Surge up. So if you just made an account, this is where you'd start. And these are the steps that you're going to follow. Yeah, let's just go through this. All right. Good later. Yep. Go ahead. Settings. Yep. Mm -hmm. Tracking. Then you're going to install the script on your Shopify. Install on Shopify store. So, yep. 
in the, just before the end of the body cycle, right? And then as soon as you pass the thousand page views, your plan will start. Mm -hmm. And then you'll need to be monitoring it because if I don't know what plan you're on, but if you hit 10,000 or you're about to hit 30,000, make sure to add some additional page views to your plan. Okay. Yeah. And then, yep. Scroll all the way down. Then right there. Perfect. Yeah. You're already a pro. Yeah. I've done this uh, with different stuff as well. Mm, check out interscripts, right? Is it an additional script? Oh, or a status page, okay. Getting confirmation from dev team on like these reconvert and upsell apps. We're gonna confirm whether yeah. or not that needs to be included, but right now I'll leave it out. Okay. Save. Perfect. Yeah. Then now you can start the ad account selection process. Yeah. I think it was good that we simply follow this, uh, mm -hmm. this tutorial. You're fine. Just hit integrate. That's the right thing to do. Yeah. So actually, I posted a uh, question in the uh, in the comment section as well for the uh, of the Zoom call. So because I saw that uh, your ad results are impacted by the conversions measured by Facebook. Uh, so if you have like a low conversion rate on your website, you will get well uh, worse ad delivery. Ad delivery. So does this solve this issue, or so so this the information get back to Facebook somehow? Yeah, you can send it through the API. But if you're on Shopify, you're already sending the maximum API. This is gonna okay. this is gonna tell you who those individuals are because that doesn't get um, shared. But yeah, you can, you can connect the storage API as well. But go to now, go to the uh, performance tab again. Uh, performance, you said. Yeah, we're gonna be adding a issue. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Now go to performance. So now you'll need to generate a Facebook UTM. But what you'll be able to do is, yeah, you'll be able to copy that all the way up until that question mark there because you already have the ads active. But moving forward, anytime you create new ads, you'll just paste whatever URL you're going to use, right? Okay. And you'll yeah. copy it. But just copy that portion all the way up to the question mark here. No, and then oh. go to your ads. That's fine. We can always remove it. And let's see here. Uh, yeah. So we have, we have also some ads which sends uh, people to a product page. Okay. Go to your ad level. So all active ads plus any new ads you're creating. Yeah. So let's see here. All right. So you have use existing. So what you'll do is you'll go down here to URL parameters, scroll down, paste it here, and you're going to remove that URL once you paste it. Yep. Just make sure you remove the question mark as well. All right, perfect. Now just hit, just to confirm it works, hit build a URL parameter and it should populate all the, okay, good. Everything's good to go. Then hit apply. And now just copy that uh, parameter inside there. Yeah, just so that way we have it. Copy it and then go ahead and just start pasting it in the rest of these ads. Yeah, so it's basically. It's and you can an select all ad ads ad. and paste it. Yeah, okay. So we're actually using one uh, advertisement. This, is, this one is like almost 40K likes actually. That's awesome. And the good thing is it's not even going to reset anything. Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, and then just be sure, no matter what ads you have active, always make sure you have these scripts on them. Because if you miss one script, I mean, you're already missing yeah. out on an extra piece of data. Yeah, for sure. Scroll down. Paste. Boom. And that's good to go. Perfect. And then you put that on your active ads as well. 
on uh, your other campaign? Do you have a retargeting or anything going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So paste in your retargeting now. Simply the same thing for uh, yeah. all the ads. Okay. Need to make sure that, should I simply like uh, select all and then go to uh, and then No, just do the, here. because no, just so do for text. your active, right? Yeah. yeah, that'd be crazy. Ooh. Yeah, just do those. And then just make sure if you're going to turn on something that's old, well, then, you know, mm -hmm. then you'll just need to add the script and make sure you have it. Yeah. Yeah. Need to make sure to do that. We're switching it up quite often. Uh, what am I doing? Pasting it in the parameters. Yeah. And then how many site views do you get a month? Or like page views, uh, you know? Yeah, it depends on the month, I, I guess. So uh, last month, this month was like 100K, I believe. Oh, right. that, was, that was last month, I guess. 57,000? Yeah. Probably higher than that too, because page views are going to be counted a little bit differently than sessions. So you're probably ah, okay, closer to okay. like 70,000. Okay, yeah. Um, so yeah, then you'll just need to monitor your plan because you might use it up pretty fast. Yeah. Yeah. And you'll have to do that in the billing dashboard where you just add them in. Yeah, I noticed. I noticed with the previous guy. But actually, so lately we're this week we only had five thousand uh, people. Yeah. But those are sessions. Um yeah. okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. So now that that's all pasted in there, mm -hmm. go to your surge dashboard. It'll take a couple of days just to make sure that the data propagates, but yeah, you, know, you can hit cancel now. And then like refresh this. And then it'll take a second. Okay, okay. boom, there they are. You yep. got two purchases already reported, but like surge is only gonna be able to track from this like moment moving forward. So yeah. when you look at your data, it's probably gonna be best to like use tomorrow forward because yeah, yeah, for sure. You'll have the it'll be more accurate. So if you choose like this month, you know, Surge isn't gonna have all that other data from mm -hmm. because it the script gonna, was on your site. Yeah. So like yeah. simply gonna copy the, the Facebook data. Yeah. Yes. So that's that pulls that in, but Surge is gonna track everything on its own moving forward and then show you where the actual conversions come in. And then when the purchases do yeah. happen, will be attributed there on the surge purchase column. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Cool. You right. set it all up. That was easy enough. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Now we'll see which uh, one uh, which one of the ads brings all in the brings in the money, I guess. All right. Boom. You yeah. Clear vision now. Thanks a lot. All right. Awesome. Thanks, Dennis.